Now, there's a platform to express your talent and abilities, a platform to promote your vocation and activities. The Nigerian Community Show. It's not about a tribe. It's not about a religion. It's about the people, their culture and activities in various communities. The Nigerian Community Show. Hello there. Welcome to the Nigerian Community Show. The program is produced by Big Circle Media Limited. Every week, our focus is on activities within Nigerian communities. We also deliver information that will benefit Nigerians around the world. In this episode, former mayor of London, Ken Livingston, reminisces about his experience as a young Lagos boy. Kaltungo, the snake haven, needs your help. And if you have an issue over passport renewal in United Kingdom, we can help you. Hello again. Some time ago, I met a Nigerian woman, Chief Mrs. Shatsu Gaba, who established a foundation to provide medical support for snake bite victims in Kartongo, Gombe State, Nigeria. She's from Kartongo and was a snake bite victim herself. This woman established Building Our Bridges International Foundation and has been supporting people from that village from her personal resources. Thankfully, some organizations and individuals are responding to the SOS call that this foundation has been sending out. Don't go away now. Please sit back. I want you to see the havoc Snake is wrecking on the people of Kaltongo, Gombe State, Nigeria. If you don't like snakes, look away for now. Some viewers may find the video clips you're about to watch very distressful. Be warned. When we went into the ward, I heard this little boy screaming, crying out, calling for his mom, calling for his dad. So we walked in there, we found that they're dressing his foot. And it is unbelievable to see that snake bites can cause such damage to a human body. The carpet viper itself, it's like uh, such terrain, like Sahel grassland, with low uh, grasses, that's what we call Sahel grassland, with the rocks, you know, especially in Kaltungo here, you see, the, if you see the terrain, you see it's sandy, and the sandy means it's the people of the rocks that breaks off, that's a willery. So the snake, they don't grow holes. So they lay their eggs under these pebbles of the rocks. And during April, that is heat period, the sun incubates the eggs and it will just hatch. So the condition is favorable for them. And it's not, uh, it's not a forest, it's not, uh, there's no much grass. It's dry grass, dry land. So they like dry land, they don't like uh, marshy areas. So that's why you see, in uh, around Kaltungo or where there is hill like Plateau, Kaltungo, Taraba and uh, part of Borno, that is southern part of Borno. I for one was a victim and my brother too was a victim. My brother was bitten by a snake and he nearly died. But this occasion when I came to Nigeria 2009, I went to see the chief of Kaltungo just to pay him a visit. And then um, when I got there, he was telling me about the problems of the snakes. That a lot of people were dying because they run out of the snake, uh, anti-snake ban. So the first thing I did here was to wage war on the snakes. I paid a ransom of 100 naira for each snake that has been brought here to the palace, whether alive or dead. We did this one for three years. And then a professor came from UK and told us to stop killing the snakes. He said if we continue to kill them, they won't find any snakes to produce the anti-snake venom with. So they run out of raw materials. And Kaltungo down here happens to be a center for snake bite treatment. This is Ed 
bit uh, capacity, but still, but now we have uh, floor cases, about four. So they are about uh, uh, 12 people down here. I'm a civil servant, but I farm. So that day, I went to farm. I went to look for my farm. So as I want to cut grass, so I cut it with the hoe and put my hand to remove the grass. So something shook me. So as I look at uh, under the grass, I saw this snake. So I know that it was that snake that bite me. They need more dedicated staff. Who will take over the job of this doctor if he's away? His main fear was if he's away, they may sell the drugs. The next one is the storage of the drugs. They need electricity supply all the time, which of course is something that you cannot find electricity supply in Nigeria all the time. They use a small generator which is not enough for him to maintain, to, to maintain the drug at the required temperature. So what they, are thinking, what they want is they need a solar system. If a solar system can be installed there, it will help with the storage of the, of the drugs. I still can't believe a child will go through this suffering you know, he's going through. If we have proper treatment, medical, treatment for this boy. He would have been, you know, better. We are not even sure whether that foot is going to be amputated. Or we are praying that he's going to heal from the sickness. Well, that was really, really sad. If you have been a snake bite victim yourself, then you'll be able to place, I mean, yourself in those villagers' shoes. I want you to start thinking seriously about how you can help them. If you need to know more about building our Bridges International Foundation, or Kautongo, the snake haven, send inquiries to info at bigcirclemedia.co.uk and we'll give you Chief Shatugaba's contact details. What are you doing to support or make life better for people in your community? I want you to tell us about it. We'd like to hear about it and we will promote it for you. You are watching the Nigerian Community Show. We give updates on activities within Nigerian communities around the world. You can send us video clips of events, eyewitness reports, or any activity in your community from any part of the world via YouTube. Just send the link to us. If you don't have a YouTube account, you need to create one. Please make sure the video clips are of good quality, high quality, and not more than 10 minutes per upload. Then send the link to info at bigcirclemedia.co.uk and please give us the right to use your clips. Send details of your community projects too. We'd like to know about them. You can also promote your business and services on this show to, to support us. We're going to go and break. When we come back, we'll talk about the Nigerian Community Show's network event in London. Have you heard about Nigerian National Community London, NNC? It's the association that supports Nigerians in London. Are you living in isolation or do you have issues concerning your Nigerian passport? Nigerian National Community has support and welfare scheme for all Nigerians in London. Membership is open to all Nigerians. What are you waiting for? We hold our meetings every third Saturday of the month at St. Jude's Community Centre, St. George's Road, Elephant and Castle, London, SE1 6EZ. Time 5 p.m. prompt. For more information, please call 07962 348242. Nigerian National Community London NNC. It's your association. Beautiful Foods Limited need agents from around the world to partner with them for Tabitha packaged snacks. Beautiful Foods Limited caters for social and corporate events. And now, they have special incentives of 5% commission for all referrals and deals closed on their behalf. For more information, please call 020-8469-4117 or 07931-335488. 
Better still, visit beautifulfoods.co.uk. You're welcome back. A few months ago, the Nigerian Community Show organized a networking event. It all happened at Casey's Bar, Holloway Road, London. And we are ever grateful to all businesses, associations, other organizations and individuals that honored our invitation. And also those who supported us in Cash and Kind were saying a big thank you. We will feature them on this show every week, so don't miss it. In case you're just joining us, this is the Nigerian Community Show. We showcase activities put together for Nigerian communities. Well, if your big day is coming up this month, or a loved one is having a special, special celebration, I love to say happy celebration on behalf of the entire crew of this show. Plus, starting from June 2012, you can win a free cake to celebrate that event for yourself or for a loved one. Katsi Sunat Cakes, London. All you need to do is enter our monthly competition. If you get the answers right, then you get a free cake. So, to win a free cake in June, answer this question. In what part of Nigeria is Olute Village? Send your answers, including your name, to info at bigcirclemedia.co.uk make the subject of your email june free cake or text june free cake forward slash answer to 0793145874468746 that is if your answer for instance is lagos text june free cake forward slash lagos to 0793145874746 this competition is open to UK residents only. Winner will be notified by SMS. This is the Nigerian Community Show. Don't forget you can send us video clips of your party, events, eyewitness reports, or any activity in your community from any part of the world via YouTube. If you don't have a YouTube account, you need to create one. You need it. Make sure the video clips are of good quality if you can help it and not more than 10 minutes by upload. Huh. Did you know that Ken Livingstone, the aspiring mayor of London, is a Lagos boy? Come on now, ask me how come. Well, he mentioned it at a fundraising dinner organized by Africans for Labour recently at Stoke Newington, London. There was so much to eat and drink. It was a rich gathering of Africans. And after Ken enjoyed the African funfair and food, he could not hold back his tongue. He spoke about his interest in Africa, which dates back to the 60s. In his own word, I quote, Back in 1966, when I was a very young, naughty English boy, I went with my friend to Africa, and my life was transformed, for, transformed beg your pardon, forever. We traveled to different countries, we learned to dance to high life, and when we got to Nigeria, we camped at the Lagos beach, Sleeping and waking, going to town for two weeks, leaving our stuffs at the beach, and it was completely safe. Personally, I like Ken Livingston. Huh. But I say, don't try that in Lagos again. Nigeria is quite different from your dream or from your experience uh, in those days. Well, the last sentence in Ken Livingston's speech, speaking now on a very serious note, reminds me of 9th January 2011, a bitter sad day in Plateau State, Nigeria. Muslim attackers carried out a guerrilla-type hit-and-run attacks on the Christian community of Wankogot at about 8 p.m. According to eyewitness reports, 14 Christians, including a pregnant woman, children, and entire members of the same family in a household were killed. For those who survived, it was a mere narrow escape. One survivor managed to narrate her horrific experience. She was with her husband and children when the raiders broke into their house, but she managed to hide in one of the rooms. Her husband, only son, and grandchildren were not so fortunate. They were killed. This is a far cry from Ken Livingston's memories of Nigeria, isn't it? We're going to take another break. When we come back, I'll tell you how you can get your Nigerian passport easily from the Nigeria High Commission, London. Don't go away.
So not cakes. When you need cakes to mark that special occasion, so not cakes will take care of it. Call 07438-287479 to book yours now or email your request to sunatcakes at yahoo.com. Sunat Cakes, we bake with love. A glory cash and carry for African and Afro-Caribbean foodstuffs and more. We are situated at 109 Erith Riverside Shopping Center, Erith Kent, DA8, 1RQ. Our friendly members of staff are waiting to assist you while you shop. A Glory Cash and Carry is just behind Erith train station and two minutes walk from bus stops for buses 229, 469, 428, 99 and B12. There's ample car park behind us and two cab offices close by. For home delivery and other inquiries, please call 01322-359-248. A Glory Cash and Carry. Visit us today and you'll be glad you did. You're welcome back the Nigerian Community Show. I am Ola Bisi. Now, if you're having issues with the Nigeria High Commission London, especially pertaining to passport renewal, National Association of Nigerian Community, NANC UK, can help you out. According to Sir Martins Bakari, the president of the association, NANC UK supports members in various ways, including issues that relate to the Nigeria High Commission in London and other welfare challenges. He led other members of Nigerian National Community, a regional branch of NANC UK, to our networking event in London. Let's hear him now. I'm here today as the president of the National Association of Nigerian Communities, NANC. And uh, I've got the patron with me. His name is uh, Chief George Wongo. What I would like to say is that our organization, if we recall, in the 60s, the Nigerian National Students, wherever I come from Nigeria, we always have our students then. Then when things were changing, we actually changed it to NNU, Nigerian National Student, and from there, in order to be a charitable organization, it's now known as National Association of Nigerian Communities, UK. Our organization, I recall, actually fought for dual nationalism with the British government. What do we do? We are here to let British know. We work together, spreading awareness, telling everybody what Nigeria is to do. We have interaction with our embassy here, Nigeria Higher Commission. With regards to the passport, everybody knows we are doing the e-passports now. We are actually involved, and they use our branches in Birmingham, in Bradford, in Leeds, and Wales to actually do the exchange of passport. We wrote to them in Nigeria. We spoke to the High Commissioner, and he, they agreed to send some people, independent people from the immigration side in Nigeria, to come here and go to Liverpool and all the places where we have branches in order to bring the services near our home. Without the organization, we wouldn't be doing that, be able to do that. Wherever we have any problem with the embassy, when our people tell us, we go there to have dialogue with them. And we have been able to resolve a lot of problems with that. Again, the organization is your organization. Any individual can join us. We are doing what is called mentoring. We are doing immigration services for our people. Care of the elderly. We are helping our elderly people to make sure they stay with dignity in their homes. This organization is the oldest Nigerian organization in the UK. We are the only organization that the Nigerian embassy recognized those days. If you come to the grassroots, dealing with individual problems, Dealing with average Nigeria, we are the, the organization. Well, tell you what, it is wise to become a member of associations like this. If you need their contact details, send inquiries to info at bigcirclemedia.co.uk or visit their website nanc.org.uk. 
This is the Nigerian Community Show. Just before we go, let me remind you that you can be part of that competition that's coming up um, to win a free cake for yourself or for a loved one um, in the month of June. If you want to win that cake, here is what you got to do. In what part of Nigeria is Olute village? Send your answers, including your name, to info at bigcirclemedia.co.uk. Make the subject of your email June Free Cake or text June Free Cake forward slash answer to 079314-58746. That is, if your answer, for instance, is Lagos, text June Free Cake forward slash Lagos to 079314-58746. This competition is open to UK residents only. Winner will be notified by SMS. Yeah. And so there's so much going on in our communities around the world. Don't forget to send clips of your events or activities to us so we can use it on the program. And if you want to promote your business or service on this program, we can help you to package the jingle that is the television advert you need to do so. And also if you're having a social event or corporate event, invite us to cover it and use it on our program. The Nigerian Community Show is your show. Let it happen. A glory cash and carry for African and Afro-Caribbean foodstuffs and more. We are situated at 109 Erith Riverside Shopping Center, Erith Kent, DA8, 1RQ. Our friendly members of staff are waiting to assist you while you shop. A glory cash and carry is just behind Erith train station and two minutes walk from bus stops for buses 229, 469, 428, 99 and B12. There's ample car park behind us and two cab offices close by. For home delivery and other inquiries, please call 01322-359248. A Glory Cash and Carry. Visit us today and you'll be glad you did. So not cakes. When you need cakes to mark that special occasion, so Nut Cakes will take care of it. Call 07438-287479 to book yours now or email your request to sonatcakes at yahoo.com. So Nut Cakes, we bake with love. So don't forget, send details of your activities to us. And if you're doing anything that can benefit or affect Nigerians, remember to inform us and we can shout about it. Don't do it if you don't want me to talk about it. Thank you for watching. Have you heard about Nigerian National Community London, NNC? It's the association that supports Nigerians in London. Are you living in isolation or do you have issues concerning your Nigerian passport? Nigerian National Community has support and welfare scheme for all Nigerians in London. Membership is open to all Nigerians. What are you waiting for? We hold our meetings every third Saturday of the month at St. Jude's Community Centre, St. George's Road, Elephant and Castle, London, SE1 6EZ, time 5pm prompt. For more information, please call 07962 348242 Nigerian National Community London NNC It's your association